hold on, Mr. Bremer. Good yeah, morning. Something? Please Good do. Good morning, sir. I'm, I mean, the only reason why I'm asking this is just because I've noticed this being said a lot by my Christian friends, and I and I hope like you don't you, you'd like answer me. Um, so basically, you know how you always say that the name Allah is basically the moon god, but I noticed a lot of the Arab Christians use it. So why do you think they use it? Because they speak Arabic, probably. But let me ask you a question: Using the law of identity, yes, um, use excuse me, pardon me, <clears throat> pardon me. Pardon me. You, um, thank you. Uh, using the laws of logic. Woo! Man, was I fat back then. Using the laws of logic. Um, again, you have a specific identity, specific parameters. Even when they're speaking in a particular langu language, such as Aramaic or Arabic or whatever it might be, when they use the word Allah, they're using the word as a generic term for God. Now, at God, when you're talking about Arabic, uh, Aramaic Christians or people who speak, speak that particular language, they're not talking about the moon God, Allah. They're talking about the one true God, Yahuwah. Now, just because they're speaking a different language doesn't mean they're pointing to the same false God. Do you understand the difference? Yes, sir, I do. Thank you very much for your question. That was actually a good one. Thank you, ma'am. I mean, no, thank you for answering me. Anytime. Now, I want you to know something. When a Muslim or somebody comes to you with that particular thing, the one thing you want to ask them is, Mr. Muslim, are contradictions wrong in your worldview and why? Because they have a plethora of contradictions in their belief system. You see, they're going to sit there and tell you that they appeal to the Bible. They're going to point to the Torah, the, the Psalms, the Injil is what they call the New Testament, and they're going to say, see, Mo uh, Muhammad said this is the previous revelation of Allah. And do you know what? It says in the Quran, Surah 6, uh, verse 115, I believe, that the words of Allah can never be corrupted. Uh-oh. Now, wait a minute. If they say that the Bible is the previous revelation of Allah, and I'm going to point out to them Deuteronomy 13 that says this is what a prophet looks like, and Muhammad does not fit these parameters. This is, again, the law of identity. Why don't you follow the Bible rather than the Quran? And you know what they're going to say? They're going to contradict themselves. They're going to say, wait a minute. The Bible's been corrupted over time. Uh-oh. But your Bible, your Quran, Surah 6, verse 115, says that the words of Allah can never be corrupted. So that is a contradiction. So, Mr. Muslim, why are contradictions wrong in your worldview? And they got nothing. I see. Thank you, though, for your question. You see, oh, no, here's Deuteronomy you, 13. It was actually, you're quite welcome. Here's Deuteronomy 13 actually quoted for me in uh, the, the chat room here. I'll go ahead and quote it because I'm tired. I just woke up and my brain's not, I'm not even had coffee yet. My brain's not even functional. It says, if... A prophet arises among you or a dreamer of dreams and gives you a sign or a wonder. And that's what Muhammad claimed to have done. And the sign or wonder, which he tells you, comes to pass because he said he got a, a revelation from an angel. That's a sign or a wonder. And he says, let us go after other gods which you have not known and let us serve them. That's exactly what Muhammad did. You shall not listen to the words of that prophet or that dreamer of dreams, for the Lord your God is testing you to know whether you love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. You see, this is another contradiction. The God of the Bible will test you. He will send you a spirit of deception to see if you will hold fast to him, love him, and serve him only. The God of the Quran doesn't give you a test. He deceives you. In uh, Surah 4, verse 157, that God deceives everybody at the cross of Calvary, making them believe something that is not true in the real world in real time. He caused them to believe that Jesus was still up on that cross when, it, according to the Quran, that wasn't true. So if that God can deceive, then that God cannot be the cause of the law of non-contradiction that we need to have in order to know things to be true. And that is a contradiction for the Muslim. Safe the Jew. <laughs> I don't know why people keep calling me a Jew. I am a Torah observant Christian. I'm one of the scariest Christians you're ever going to run across because I actually do what the Bible says to do. So do you like drink and, you know, eat pig? Do you think that is something Christians can do? 
um, um, do I drink? Um, it depends on what you're talking about. Um, the Bible doesn't say you cannot yeah. drink. It says, do not drink. Uh, it says, do not be a drunkard. So I do not, I'm not a drunkard, no. Do I have a glass of wine? Every once in a while, yeah. Sometimes uh, uh, on Sabbath, uh, oh, and by the way, Shabbat Shalom to a Sabbath. Uh, sometimes on Sabbath, my wife and I will have a glass of wine uh, when we have communion. Not all the time. Every once in a while. It's kind of like a special celebration for us because, you know, sugars affect us since we both are uh, on, have uh, bariatric surgery patients. But again, do I do other things like eat pig or eat shellfish? Or, uh, no, I don't. Uh, and again, it, I'm not going to tell people that they're going to hell if they do, don't do things exactly the way I do according to what the scripture says. I'm just saying that what God says Jesus said, if you love me, you will obey the commandments. What commandments do you think he was talking about? He was talking about all of them. When he was asked, Rabbi, what is the greatest of the commandments? Jesus said, and this is Matthew, I believe, 22. Uh, Jesus said, uh, the first of the commandments is love the Lord your God with all your heart, your mind, your soul, your strength. And the second is as the first, love others the way you love yourself. And most people stop right there. Most people don't want to know the truth. But what you need to do is go to Matthew twenty-two forty, where it says, on these two commandments hang all the laws and the prophets. Uh-oh, that's the entirety of our Old Testament. That's called the Tanakh. That's the Torah, the Nevaim, and the Ketuvim. This is where we get the word uh, Tanakh, and that's the law, the prophets, and the writings. That's all of the Old Testament. Now, I'm not going to say... Wow, that was really, really intelligent, wasn't it, Mr. Pickles? Okay. So, thank you. So, once again... Um, if you're going to know things to be true, you have to have a relationship with the God of the Bible. Now, Mr. Mr. Drop did it again. He said, my question is, why are you either unwilling or unable to explain your worldview without referencing the Bible? Because, sir, where does the world come from? Because your worldview exists inside of time, space, and matter. I can use science all day long. My worldview is that there is a living God, a living, loving, logical, lawgiver God who exists eternally so, and that's why we have laws that do not change over time. Sir, I've answered your question now for the sixth time, and now I've got all this recorded, and I'm going to be uploading it to my uh, website so you can remember it in the future if you'd like to reference it. Thank you for playing, sir. Next. Hey, Mr. Batman, do you use bitshoot.com? Sir, what are you what? talking about? Uh, bitshoot.com. It's a free speech website. It's uh, far more reliable for hosting than YouTube. Oh, oh, oh. Videos have been randomly removed. Oh, oh. No, I've not had anything removed just yet. Um, but uh, I have heard of that before. Somebody else warned me that that's going to start happening. I've not seen any of my videos be, been coming down yet, uh, but I have been backing everything up and looking for an alternative. I will remember that. Thank you, Mr. Bones. I appreciate that. Oh, yeah, no problem. Uh, if you want to DM me a link to the site, it's good. Uh, it's in the top 10 most used video sharing websites. It's got a huge audience, and I think that also there's a very thriving Christian community there, so I think that your content will be appreciated. So hope you do. Thank you very much. I'll be looking forward to your instant message. All right, does anybody else have any questions? No, I mean, I have to go now, but I just wanted to say, you know, Mr. Batman, I really do feel your sincerity whenever you talk, and I, that's why I guess I like to listen to you. Um, even though, like, <laughs> I'm a Muslim, but I still enjoy listening to you, and I hope the best for you, and take care, sir. Bye -bye. Thank you, ma'am, and I appreciate that. And, ma'am, I hope you understand that my technique has changed. I used to come right in and lob the head off of people who didn't believe the truth. And Jesus is the truth. Jesus is God. Ma'am, I want you to know God. I want you to have a relationship with the living creator God so you can be saved, so you can have the gift of the Holy Spirit. That's what it's all about for me, ma'am. I've changed my whole approach, and I hope you recognize that. I do, I do. I really, the only people that I like to talk to about religion are the sincere ones not the ones who just want to debate. So I'm really thankful you had this conversation with me, and I hope the best for you, Mr. Batman. Bye-bye. Take care. Thank you, ma'am, and you have a blessed day. Mr. Parrish. Thank you, Mr. Bones. Appreciate that. Um, uh, uh, sorry. 
Uh, well, I just wanted to add, Mr. Batman, that bit shoot is also preferred by right wing extremists and white supremacists. Oh, great. More people for me yeah. to destroy their false worldview of. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they should be very afraid right about now, now that I know where they live. Because I am Mr. Batman. I am a proclaimer of the gospel of the kingdom of the Messiah. And I'm a destroyer of false worldviews. And you know what? Theirs is next. Thank you all for playing. Have a blessed day. Mr. Batman, if I could ask a quick question. Yes, sir. Uh, if you... Uh... Yeah, if you do choose to make a bit shoot, uh, if you could DM me your channel, and I've been using the site for a couple of years now, so if you ever need any tips or navigation or, you know, just general, if, if you have any issues with it, just tell me and I'll help you out. But uh, yeah, if you choose to make a channel, DM me at least. Absolutely, and I will probably be doing that in the next couple of days. Let me ask you, do they have a uh, interface for OBS? Uh, that, that would be for streaming, right? Yes, sir. Uh, unfortunately, no. That should be implemented within the next year or so, but they don't currently have that. That's all right, because right now what I'm doing anyway is I go ahead and record and stream on Facebook, then download the video and upload. So it gives me a backup, but yeah, I appreciate all your help. It. Yeah, anytime. Uh, 